Apart from slicer styles, slicers also have settings. Now to activate it, you can go into your slicer tools option once you click in one of the slicers. And then on the far left hand side, you can choose slicer settings. And in here, you have your slicer settings dialog box. That's one way. Let's cancel out of there. The second way is just to right click in one of the slicers. And the last option is slicer settings. So in here we have a few settings. First we have the source name, so that's the sales region that comes from the data table, so that's the field name. The second one is name to use in formula, and here you can use this slicer when you're using cube formulas. And the name, you can name this to whatever you like, something different, it's just something to distinguish one of your slices. So I can rename this to John's slicer one and if I press OK and then I click in the slicer you'll see here on the far left that John slicer one is activated so it's in the name box there now right click again go back to slicer settings and then here we have the header so the header is over here where you see sales region financial year and so forth and you can uncheck that if you uncheck that then the header goes right click go back in now you can display the header, but you can also rename it to whatever you like. Instead of sales region, we can name it sales continent and press OK. You can see that's changed. Now your data table has not changed. It's only the slicer that has changed. Okay. So if you click in here where you had sales region up here, now that is not going to change. It's only the slicer. So it's only for cosmetic purposes. Let's right click and bring it up again. Now we can also sort it here. We can sort it from ascending, from A to Z, or Z to A. If you click there and press OK, you can see that's sorted. Now right click in there. You can also sort it from in here. Sort A to Z or Z to A. And let's go back to our settings. We have the option here to use custom lists when sorting. Now we've used a custom list in previous chapters and we can activate this. Let's press OK and A to Z. And we see the custom list has been sorted accordingly. Now we created a custom list to have Americas first, Europe second, Asia third and Africa fourth. We can check that to go into our files and options and in advanced we go all the way down and then edit custom list. And here we previously created a custom list. So when we sort it A to Z, then Americas will be first, Europe second, Asia third, Africa fourth. If it's Z to A, well, it'll be the other way around. Press OK to exit. And then we also have a few other checkboxes here that you can check or uncheck. Now this says here, visually indicate items with no data, show items with no data last and show items deleted from the data source. So you can leave them on, depends on what you like. I usually leave them on. And let's press OK. Now let's click in one of the slices and press Control A to activate all the slices. Now if we right click and bring the settings again, look we can't change the names, which is fair enough. But we can get rid of the header for every one of them in one go. Or we can rename the caption to call it cool slices and if you do that then every slicer heading will be the same now right click to go back in there we can also sort them all from a to z in one go just like that and then also you have the custom list and also the check boxes if you want to show or not show some data. So there's a few settings there that you can play with and you have the flexibility to chop and change your slices.